on Pixel Pad we can detect if a keyboard key was or is being pressed. The code should be placed in a loop tab because it has to keep checking if the desired input has been detected. I'm going to add my code inside my spaceship's loop tab because I want to make it move. For detecting keys, create a condition using an if statement to check if a key was pressed. Inside the brackets, you will need to specify which key you are looking for. Add apostrophes and the key to be detected. I'm going to check for the D key. At the end of the if statement, we need to add a colon and go to a new line to tell Pixelpad what is going to happen if such key was pressed. Here I'm going to make my spaceship to move right by changing its X position. As you can see, my spaceship doesn't keep moving while I hold my D key down, it moves just once. That's because we are checking if the key was pressed. To move my spaceship while I'm pressing the D key, I will need to change my code from key was pressed to key is pressed. Now that my code is checking if the D key is pressed, my spaceship will move while I'm holding the D key down. The key was pressed code could be used to make my spaceship shoot bullets or activate a power-up, actions that do not require the player to hold the key down for a while. We can now add other if statements to also check for the keys W, S and A. Now I can move my spaceship on the four directions. 